Almost $45 million will be poured into renovating Midwestern State University's Bowl and Science Hall. Yeah, it's all part of Senate Bill 52. The bill authorizes $3.3 billion dispersed to fund construction and renovation projects at public universities and also health facilities. Yeah, PJ Green looked into this for us today, and PJ officials say these renovations are much needed. That's right, Lauren. It's been almost 25 years since the Bowl and Science Center was last updated, but with this new funding, the building will get the upgrade that it deserves. We're going to be upgrading. We're going to be competitive with all the other schools, but at a cheap and affordable rate. Midwestern State senior and biology major Brett Mitchell has spent four years studying, researching, and working towards graduation. With dreams of becoming a doctor in sight, he says the McCoy College of Science, Mathematics, and Engineering, or MACOSME, has prepared him well. I've learned how to critically think and uh, collaborate with students and you know, partake in group projects and, uh, and really utilize our resources, such as our professors and their office hours. And with the home of the McCosme, the Bolin Science Center getting some much needed renovations, he says future students can learn much more in the program as well. We, I think there's a lot that could be done to match the aesthetic to the newly built Centennial and Dillard building. And so I think the addition of, you know, the remodeling with open spaces, I think that's such a huge advantage that we as uh, McCosme can take advantage of. New technology, spaces for students to collaborate, and more space for professors are just some of the upgrades coming in the almost $45 million renovation project. Thanks to Senate Bill 52, students at public universities like MSU Texas will be able to watch parts of their campus get a new face. I know that when I came in 2015 it had been since 1996 when the last remodel happened uh, and it remained on that same footprint and so I known from the first day I came that that this was a vital component of pushing us into the next um, the next level of t teaching in STEM. While discussions are still being had about when to begin administration has already received some feedback from students and everyone is excited to see what comes next. What we hope to have is when students come here to have a space that is, uh, is updated and has the, the latest in technology that we can offer them so that they can then um, learn using tools that they're going to be using out in a medical career, in industry, uh, in graduate school. Getting a boost in funding that faculty and students hope translate into a boost of learning. Now, Marsden says when the renovation happens, it will shut down as little as possible on campus, and she's still taking feedback from students. Find that info on our website. Well, it's great to see those renovations about to happen. It really is. Okay, uh, PJ, thank you so much for that report.